this database here and one of the things that would be really useful to us is to know how much uh, product we are selling in each city mm -hmm. and I am not sure if I need to do a formula for that or if there's some better way to get some subtotals on my quantities. Right. Well, what I'm going to show you does use a formula, but you don't have to set the formula up. Okay. There is a subtotaling feature uh -huh. called, and some people call it outlining or whatever, but it will let us break it down and look at totals by a particular category. Okay, okay? Well, let's look at that. So what I'm, look, what I'm hearing you say is that you need to know how much you're selling by the ship from location. Correct. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. In order to do this, first we need to sort by the ship from because we need to get everybody together that's the same site in our data. Okay. So go on and do a sort. Do you remember how to do that? I do. I learned in an earlier module that I can place my cursor in that column that I want to sort and then go to the data tab and the sort and filter group and hit this guy right here. That's A to Z. right. And the main reason we do that is when we use subtotals, it's going to look for each change in a column. Okay. We're going to tell it that column. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So all the Atlantas are already grouped together, so it will total based on the change. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going up into that data tab. Mm -hmm. All the way to the right is an outline group. Oh, yeah. And you want to pick that subtotal button. All right. And notice it says that each change in date, it's going to sum and give you a total. So mm -hmm. notice it's putting that subtotal under the total column. Now, we're looking for subtotals for which column? The ship from. Right. So do we want each change in date? No. No. I do not. We want the ship from. So let's change that to ship from. Okay. I do want it to add up. Though. Right. Now before we talk about that, I want to just go back to that each change in. I've been teaching this for years and most people who mess this up forget to choose the right column for that subtotal. Okay. You're always going to sort by the column that you want your subtotal for and you always need to put that column name in this first thing at each change in. Okay. Okay. So if it's not working, go back and look and see what you chose there. The, sum, the function here is sum. If you click on the drop down, you'll see that we could count, we can average, there's all sorts of functions we can use here. Mm -hmm. Let's just stay with sum because you wanted to know how many. Mm -hmm. Add subtotal to. Now, you wanted to know how many you're shipping, right? Right. I, I really need to know the quantity. Okay, so let's check quantity and uncheck total. So it's going to tell us the total quantity per ship from location. Okay. All right, let's click OK. Ooh. There you have it. Now, a couple of things to point out to you here. First of all, you have a new row added. And if you click there in cell G13, you'll notice there is a subtotal function going on okay. there. So it is putting in a function and calculating this for you. You okay. don't have to put that function in. Do you notice anything else different here? There's some funky things going on over here. Some brackets right. showing up. We have an expand and collapse option here. Notice there are three levels and we're seeing all three levels. If you go up to the top, click on the two. Notice that collapses us down to just the information on each location. And let's say I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wow, you know, there's a lot in Tampa. Maybe I want to look at Tampa a little closer. So I go to the left of Tampa and there's a plus sign. I click on the plus sign and I can expand my information on Tampa. Okay. Now if I click on just the one up top in that outlining area over on the left, it collapses everything down to just the bottom line grand total. Wow. Okay. If I want to see everything again, I can press, click on the three. And, I'll and there you there. go. So I can click on the numbers up top to expand and collapse. But I also, you'll notice each row that has a total has a minus sign next to it. So if I wanted to collapse billings, for example, which is row 20, I can click the minus sign and collapse it. Okay. So let's click the plus and bring that back out. Now, a lot of times people look at this and they say, okay, that's great, but how about I get an idea how much also I'm selling at the same time? So we might want a total in the total col column too. So let's go back up to our subtotal. All right. And you'll notice that you can add another column just by checking. 
And there is an option down here. Let's say I just wanted total. I want to get rid of quantity. I could say replace current subtotals, which is a checkbox below. Mm -hmm. But since I have them both checked, it automatically knows that. So let's go on and click OK. Oh, okay. Now and now I can see, okay, 18, but that was 37.85 in money, you know, whereas 11 was 21.92 and so forth. And I still have the same collapse and expand features over on the left. That's great. Uh, what I'm really interested in is looking at each of the totals by themselves without having to scroll down that big right. database. That's very helpful for, for mm -hmm. us to analyze what's going on in each city. Right. It's, it's a great feature. Let's say you want to remove the subtotal feature altogether. Okay. Do you recall seeing anything that would help you do that? Well, I don't recall, but I bet if I look in the subtotal area, mm -hmm. it might have something in here. Ah, remove all. There you go. Click on remove all, and everything's just back to normal. So you might not always keep it on. Sure. You might just choose to use it periodically when you need information. Okay. Now, another neat thing we're going to be doing in another module is let's say I started I wanted to start looking at ship from and ship to and quantities so I want to look at two different categories and quantities I can do a pivot table oh okay that's so that's something we might be looking at in a later module okay